and then the sunrise just I don't know what it is about this time of the day but it just brings so much peace to my heart like just watching the sun come up um, it is going to be an extremely extremely busy day today I went down and I turned the smoker on down at the shop. So we are going to be smoking. I really need to invest in a wide angle lens, but until we get to that point, we're just gonna live and grow extra arms, right? Okay, so I got laundry going, don't mind it. But today I have the smoker going because I also have to cook for the, the boys basketball team again. Um, we are going to go visit a cute little country store and deliver eggs for Carol. We also have to take care of chickens because she's going to be gone today. Let's see. I want to work with the horses. I need to feed the bulls. It seems like there's something else. Oh, I need to finish editing my video. So let's just get right to the right to it today. I already prepped my meat. Sorry, it's nothing fancy. Um, ribs and pulled pork. Well, it's a Boston butt, but it's gonna be pulled pork and beef ribs. And before you guys even ask, these are the two seasonings. Um, the one you might not be able to get because it's local. Uh, where's that? Did I not even put it away? Hold thought. <sighs> Did I not put it away? Am I losing my mind? Anyway, the first one, um, this is on the ribs. I like using this one. It's um, by Kinder's and it's a caramelized onion burger, but it just gives the ribs like. Oh, I can't believe I can't find it. Like, we just had, just had it out. Well, this is perturbing. Tall bottle. Surely I didn't put it in the refrigerator. I did. <laughs> I did. I put it in the refrigerator when I put the mustard away. Um, so this is a brand um, local to us by Hickman's. This is our little grocery store in town. And this is what I use for like everything. Uh, when I smoke uh, chicken and beef and pork, it just has a nice little... Anyway, are you guys having fun with my um, daily cooking sessions. <laughs> I promise. Regular uh, farming broadcasting coming back to you shortly. <laughs> okay, it's time to edit and make some protein coffee. You guys like my cup? Isn't it cute? <sighs> So we are going to the old country store today and we are doing an egg delivery and also some shopping. So I hope you guys are excited for today's adventure. So we uh, provide eggs, but they have all kinds of stuff. They have their own Spencer Creek farms raised beef, sticky pig, the ice cream factory, that's awesome stuff. It always smells so good in here. What do you got candle wise, burning or scent wise? Is it the soap? I should get that for the yard. It would match my shower curtain. Hey, well, we're back home. 
briefly. I'm gonna grab my coat, change my boots, because I have my tennis shoes on, because I couldn't find my boots. Actually, I couldn't remember where I left them, downstairs. Apparently, my brain is fried today already, and it's not even 10 o'clock. So, go in, grab boots, grab coat, grab Roxy. We're gonna go down. Uh, Jason's trying to load some hay. So, we have load hay, do all the chicken chores, Hopefully my um, smoked stuff gets done by 2.45. Okay, that's going. We'll fill the water tub real quick and then we'll circle back around and take care of the chickens. Let's go let the ducks out and do what we gotta do done. Come on. Grind feed tomorrow. So this is the feed that we ground the other day. This is a little bit different mix uh, for the little baby birds that we have uh, that we got in in September. It's been a busy, busy day. I got my meat all ready and we are on the way to school. So what's a hay farmer do during the winter? Well, we deliver everything, right?
Jason's got loads tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. He is most busy on the weekend. our tie grabber in the field to keep them all bundled. Obviously they're not all tied and sometimes that happens. But we'll go into the barn. This barn actually hasn't even had hay in it for several years but we needed the space so we had to clean out and make room. camera and it, there's obviously no bites in this barn someday someday but it's our cattle barn at the shop area it used to be full of hay all the time but then we built those other barns so we really haven't had to utilize it until this year which is a good thing we won't complain good premium. I think this is what we bailed honestly off the pasture. Believe it or not. The calves are patiently waiting. They're just gonna have to hold on. Just gonna have to hold tight kids. Well, he'll get out of here tomorrow. We still gotta go to shore. <laughs> 